Yeah, so welcome everyone to Melb JVM for tonight. Um, well, this is our July meetup. Um, just one quick thing before we start, we're actually on Facebook Live. So if you're on Facebook and you like Melb JVM, you can actually see this broadcasted. So we're trying this for the first time, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so moving right along. I'd start with a special thanks to ThoughtWorks. They have done pretty much all the things as well as catering for us tonight, as well as lending us their very awesome offices. So big thanks to ThoughtWorks. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> and as a general reminder, we have prizes drawn at the end of the night. It is anything JetBrains, so it's not just IntelliJ raffle prizes, so stick around. So tonight's agenda will be having me talk about live templates. So this will happen right afterwards. Uh, after myself, we'll have Alistair. So Alistair is the co-founder of Bookwell. And he'll be talking on rendering React on the JVM. And finally, we have Con talk about Nashville and stuff. <laughs> so moving on to the news. Uh, anyone going to the JVM Language Summit? It's going to be in Oracle Santa Clara around August this year. So no one, I guess. But they have their agenda. So if anyone's interested, you can grab it at that link. Uh, this is the sort of gem section. They have a gamified Java 9 hackathon. It's a sort of GitHub thing. So you can check it out, try it out, and try and build it. It's a really cool intro. I haven't had a chance to try it out yet, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, in terms of our releases, we've got JDK 9 build 124. It's got a bunch of bug fixes, as usual, and it's carrying on. Uh, there is also yet another JVM language called Golo. So that's, it's worth checking out if you're interested in other JVM languages, given we've got the JVM language summit going on. Um, Eclipse have got stream collectors. Uh, ByteMonkey is also another really cool release. So who's heard of Chaos Monkey or Ch Chaos Kong or Chaos Gorilla AWS? Uh, and so this is the JVM bytecode equivalent of it. So it will randomly simulate failures. Um, it's on GitHub, and you can check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, we've got failsafe, which allows you to write failure-safe code. You can do retries. It's written pretty nicely. It works with streams. It's really cool, too. Um, also Spock J Genesis. And who remembers our talk on Neo4j from a couple meetups ago? Yeah, a couple of you. So they've got an official release of a JDBC driver now. So it's worth checking out if you're using it as well as integrating it with Java applications. So that should be pretty cool. A um, couple of nice blog and tutorials. Uh, there's a big blog on the Java memory model. So this was quite a cool blog post. And it sort of clarifies a couple of things as well as what the JVM does internally when it does um, optimization and code and how that can lead to slightly different outcomes for memory. It's quite cool. Um, and also log4j being garbage free from now on, so no leftover garbage as part of that. Um, there's also been a bunch of spring stuff and one of the really interesting funny ones is they've actually got a children's illustrated guide to Kubernetes. So anyone using that? Um, it sort of really dumbs it down, given that it's a children's guide, but it, it's really clarifying, and it's quite a good way of getting into Kubernetes, I guess. So if you're curious, we have links there. Um, we may have a hack night coming up, so keep in touch. We'll give an announcement for that. And our next meetup will be on Wednesday, the 3rd of August. It will probably be at Econex, and we'll be having it. Uh, we'll announce a meetup shortly, so yeah. Um, as usual, you can connect with us through all the social medias. So feel free to like, tweet, retweet. And just before I introduce myself, um, we have two announcements just at the end of the night. So please stick around. We'll sort that out. <laughs>